Backlinking became a really popular feature when people started using it in apps like Roam Research and Obsidian. So Notion was compelled to put out a response to competition. But is it good enough? Keep watching to know the answer. Before we get into the Notion feature around backlinks, I think it's important to explain the context of why it's important. Humans have an association cortex that allows us to come up with associations that other animals simply don't have the capacity to do. This forms the basis of memory, which Harry Lorraine expands in his book, Memory Power. So while the human brain has such capacity, it can be augmented by using note-taking methods like Zettelkasten or the slipbox method, which famous sociologist Nicholas Luhmann adopted to enable his prolific writing of his 70 plus books. Both Harry's and Nicholas's method relied on association in different ways and used methods that were best available during those times. In 2020, we've advanced significantly in terms of technology and data sciences. We've developed capabilities to connect the dots easier so that we can take advantage of our ideas and insights. As Maggie Appleton explains on our website, a bi-directional link has social awareness. It knows about other pages or nodes that point to it and can make them visible to people. Apps like Roam Research and Obsidian latched onto this and created a tool that took advantage of bi-directional linking between pages. They also created a graph for network thought and ideas. So while these tools were out there, information could be presented much more flexibly inside of Notion with notes, databases, calendars, and other views like Gallery and Kanban. Yet Notion lacked that one feature of creating networked pages automatically. And if that needed to be done, one had to manually do it on both sides of the link. Essentially, Notion created three ways of creating backlinks. The first one involves using two square open brackets. This allows you to link to an existing page like this. You can also take advantage of creating a page within this page as a subpage or to create a subpage within another page. Going back to Nicholas's method of using Zettelkasten for note taking, he used 24 boxes to store his knowledge inside of slip boxes using A6 cards. Each had a name and a sequence number. Since the cards were restricted in the A6 frame, each note had a limited quantity of information that it could hold. Nicholas designed the system to hold atomic notes with a single bit of information. He captured keywords, which were also bidirectionally linked amongst the nodes, which he referred to as zettles. He used one of the 24 boxes as an index. That became the entry point to the threads of keywords that he used. With the Notion backlink feature, you can create the same entry point through a master page. Additionally, note that inside of the Notion block, you can provide a link mid-sentence so that you don't have to particularly go hunting for the link in the page. Notion created two other options. One of them is using a plus sign and typing immediately thereafter the name like this. This brings up the same options as you can see. The third one involves the use of the at the rate sign and type thereafter. Again, you will notice that this also brings up the same options to create existing pages or add into new nodes. Notion has also made it possible to integrate backlinks from databases into pages and vice versa. Let me illustrate. I'm in the process of creating my knowledge hub. I'm calling this the Zettel.hub. This hub is like the index that Nicholas Luhmann used in his Zettelkasten method with the index box. Let's create three index cards. Zettelkasten, Film Editing, and YouTube. I'm pursuing these three knowledge areas actively for my videos. For the purpose of this video, I will expand a bit into Zettelkasten. You already know that the default field is called AA. That's a text field and also doubles up as a page. That field holds the key to backlinks. I've renamed this field as Keywords and added two more fields, Description and Tags. So by using a numbering system, like Nicholas Lumens, I named these as 1.0, 2.0, and 3.0 at the highest level. If I open the Zettelkasten page, 
I have created two additional pages. Develop the second brain and notion for creating links and backlinks. If I go into 1.1, I have two more pages. Zettelkasten method explained and the digital approach to note taking. If I go into the digital approach, you will find a backlink into Zettelkasten. This also connects back into the Zettelkasten method explained as well. On clicking on the link, you will also find a backlink reference into Nicholas Luhmann. If you go into my planner section on my Basecamp page, you will find that my planner has a schedule for creating a Zettel.hub. And if I click on that task, it's linked back into creating links and backlinks inside of Zettel.hub. So you can see a three-way integration between two databases and between pages themselves by using this backlink feature. There are multiple use cases for backlinks. The first one is to use this efficiently to track the actual deliverable against the task at hand and to be able to go from calendar to the deliverable in a single click. In a sense, this is also like a bookmark that you may want to keep or delete at a later date. If I have a centralized database where I update the information with regards to say all my insurance payments, I can create a backlink and by clicking that in the recurring task, it takes me into that database. This allows me to update the information and come back to the task as well. And if there are multiple tasks linked back to that page, then I could do that with various tasks. Note here that it is particularly useful when you're making a project-based update or a recurring task update as in this case. In my case, I need to update my CRM page for all my client interactions. So I link that back to a task item with the CRM page as well. Instead of doing a search for the page, you can just copy the link and then paste it in the search criteria so that it can be easily linked like this. We also saw how efficient it can be when you link multiple pages. If you're writing a paper or an essay, you may be familiar with the table of contents feature inside of Notion. One idea might be that you use the table of contents feature and combine this with the backlink feature. So you can thus go from a specific paragraph in a Notion page to a specific paragraph in the new page with just two clicks like this. If you notice carefully at the backlinks, it shows the breadcrumb for the link so that it provides a meaningful link of where the page is. I use the link icon so that I know all the entries inside of the tasks that may be links. And it appears in my frequently used list since I'm using this pretty much on a daily basis now. Another interesting automated way to create these backlink linkages is to embed them into templates. So now the question is, what's missing? There's no doubt Notion still uses the folders based approach while providing the link and backlink features. However, there are a few practical things missing. Obsidian and Rome research allow for an AI based interconnection between tag words. This is automatic and it's not up to the human alone. This is a powerful feature where the app assists the user. What I would like to see from Notion is for a quick method to know what I'm missing and be able to link these quickly across the Notion workspace like a checklist. Secondly, Room and Obsidian provide for a visual network diagram showing all the active links across the system. The painful workaround to link all relevant pages inside of Notion is to search and add the tags, which will become an automated habit as you go along. If I had to choose one software to help me in my day-to-day -day needs, I would hands down choose Notion as it aims to replace my dependence on other software. If you're not yet part of this community, do consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay notified of new videos. If you like the video, consider sharing it with your friends. Stay safe, stay healthy, peace.